The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research, SBIR, program has supported the development of many mission-critical technologies, including this one for the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC. We work on a whole host of different machinery, like turbines, pumps, compressors, fans, motors. Rotating machinery is really everywhere in our lives, though most people don't appreciate it. With the support of the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program, Mechanical Solutions Incorporated has developed new technologies and systems that push the diagnostic testing and maintenance of rotating machinery squarely into the 21st century. AEDC is the world's most advanced complex of, for aerospace testing. And it's, it's difficult with so many different pieces of machinery and so many different types of machinery to really keep track of everything and make sure that everything's functioning correctly for the tests. AEDC evaluated their options for data management and diagnostic solutions and was not happy with what was available to them on the open market, which is how we were brought into the picture. With the help of the SBIR program, Mechanical Solutions set out to develop software that would automate the thinking process of the human engineer in interpreting all this data. Well, the thing about the SBIR is it really allows us to, to leverage additional people, additional practitioners, and then we can bring them here and then incorporate our processes and so on to make them more robust and suitable for our environment. Small businesses are uh, more agile and innovative in some cases than we can be here, so utilizing some of their new technology and new ideas to solve some of our test mission needs is a big asset. We are providing Arnold with our health monitoring software, which we call Sentry, and we're helping them keep their machinery reliable. They've got four or five huge wind tunnels for testing full-scale aircraft engines, for example. And all these wind tunnels require peripheral mechanical equipment to make them work. If they're set up for a full-scale engine test, it's very expensive for them to run that test. There's a lot of people and companies involved, and if they push the button to make that wind turbine go, it better work. If anything is out just a little bit, because it's spinning so fast and because there's so much force involved, things can go wrong push is really to get better and better at anticipating when is that failure going to happen, what is that failure, what's the best way to go about uh, doing the maintenance. It's going to be a whole system. So you've got your machine that's running and then we'll have sensors attached to it and those wires will be coming into a data acquisition system and then that data acquisition system will do some amount of processing and send that information to a computer where our algorithms can now go to work on it. It's not just, okay, here's a vibration signal, for example. It's, okay, you have these aspects of the vibration signal that are highlighted and they're important because X, Y, and Z. And then we come in and say, well, these actually mean that you might be experiencing this issue with your hardware. Here's how to resolve it. It is like having someone there all the time, whereas previously a human would be going through these steps. Now the software is doing that all the time. Corrective action can be taken much more quickly, which saves a lot of money, uh, saves a lot of unplanned downtime. Maybe just one component has to be replaced as opposed to replacing an entire piece of the system. The rapidly growing network of interconnected devices throughout the world has positioned mechanical solutions to take advantage of the increasing numbers and sophistication of always-on network sensors and monitoring systems found on a broad range of industrial equipment. In addition to the Arnold system, Sentry is currently being used to diagnose machinery in industries such as water and wastewater, power generation, light rail transportation, manufacturing, and oil and gas. It's crucial for us to have SBIR funding to mature the product to a point where the marketplace will take interest in it. The SBIR aspect of this uh, effort was much more than just funding. We had help from AEDC in shaping what this software would look like. We never would be where we are right now without the SBIR funding. We're very thankful to the Arnold and the Super Program for getting us to this point. Mechanical Solutions Sentry Software is a perfect example of how the Small Business Innovation Research Program helps the Defense Department meet its better buying power goals of controlling costs while getting effective new technologies into the hands of U.S. warfighters.